Hey there, YouTube, it's SuperQ here, coming at you guys today with episode 13 of Let's Play Ratchet and Play. Oh god, I got hit. Um, in the last part, the audio messed up. Hopefully everything should be in order this time. It's been literally months since I wrote an episode of Ratchet and Clank slash even played Ratchet and Clank. So, um... What do you have in there? Gears, metal filings, dust... You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our mission. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe Y Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a pre O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe Y Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Joe Y Resort, Pokitaru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. Hmm. They are both so... Okay, first off, is it me or did you guys see Ratchet there for a second standing on the planet? Don't know. Second off, um, Ratchet and Clank are both super duper sassy. Thirdly, in the last part, we explored a bit on this planet and found some cool things, like that infobot thingy that we just saw. So, anyways, one thing I was going to say is, if you guys thought I was horrible out of practice at Kingdom Hearts, wait until you see how horrible out of practice I am at Ratchet and Clank, because I am... Oh, man. I will say this again, like, for the 900th time. I literally cannot wait. I just cannot wait to get to going commando and up your arsenal, because they're just so much better. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. I heard it, but it was too late. I had already pressed the square button. This is the second. I've been in the episode for, what, two minutes now? And I've already hit two crates? Hi there, fuzzball. Ooh, there's some good weapons here. I like the whopper. I like the decoy glove. The visibomb gun is just That's awesome. Um, the mine gun works well with the taunter, but it's not that great overall. I don't even know what weapons I have set up right now. Whatever, that should be cool. Hmm, where's this taking me? Let's go forward first. Anyways, I do remember this planet. That was already annoying. Um, I remember disliking this planet and the bad guys on this planet hey, a whole bunch. you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks! You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, have I got a deal for you. Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yes, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right, but you better not try to stiff us. That's right, an escort mission. However, this is fine. He doesn't have an HP meter or anything. I hate these guys all so much. I rostered them to death. Through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Okay, that was really annoying. I'm sorry. Ah, at least this guy is helpful. Eh, I remember in my personal injury I died a whole bunch of times in this part. I don't even remember why. Or not even just this particular part, but I remember doing this part multiple times because I died during this overall escorty part. Ah, boy. Now we're going up. 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 Then we gently float down. 
Alrighty. I need more Parasita ammo. Oh god. There we go. That's not that bad. Okay. Whoa, yo, slow down. Oh, you son of a pi nope. Son of a pickle. Really hate these guys. They're super annoying. Just die, all of you. Gotta hate these guys so much. It's like, can you not constantly be outputting damage, please? Now I have one shot left. That's, this is probably where I kept dying. I mean, not probably, this is where I kept dying, but. Let's use the Club of Doom and make them do all the work for me. Uh, there's some little hidden bolts. Not really worth it. Also, don't fall into that water. I think you do die if you go into that water. For the time being, at least. Uh, Club of Doom, you guys wanna... Thanks. Well, camera, will you camera? No, I have to see where they are. Okay, just, just, just. Eh, did that work? Eh, no. Oh, fucking in. Why would that not work? How did you get up that time? What is this? My apologies for providing extremely boring commentary. I wasn't even really thinking much. I'm not really saying anything except for, eh, eh, you want to do this? Right or that? That's super annoying and yelling at the Club of Doom. My apologies, friends. Anyways. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Oh, see, that's why I hate those guys so much. Uh, I need more parasiter ammo just, just to be happy with life. But I something tells you that's not gonna happen because things don't ever go my way in video games, especially not Ratchet and Plank. Just blast on this arse installment. I don't know why I, I did that voice. But but that is a thing that happened. That voice is a thing. The thing is, I know that this thing goes up. You made it go up earlier. Just 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 make it float upward so that way all these fish can't jump onto the thing. What would that be? Is that that's a good idea, ain't it? That's probably why you won't do it, because this is a good idea. This is an escort mission. Do you see why I hate this part? Do you see why I hate this part? And I have no Pyrocitor ammo now. Uh, let's use the suck cannon, I guess. Um, I can take out them by spinning in circles. No. That is bad. <laughs> At least he stops for me. Okay, okay, and the camera will be pretty cool once you decide to cooperate. Okay. Eh. I really wish this thing shot way faster. I know that these, this is one of the weapons that returns in future installments. This weapon gets pretty actually, not like good good, but it, it stops being awful. <laughs> um, it, it gets, it, it's, I'm not gonna say that it's best, but it has way higher capacity, it rapid fires, it has, like, you know how the blaster has that kind of reticule that targets automatically when you get close to it? It gets one of those along with most weapons in the future installments. Hit <laughs> Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> I have to sneeze, it's probably super loud. <laughs> You're welcome. That I graced your earlobes? If you said bless you in real life, we are true pals. You are true bros. Even if you're not a bro, you're a bro. That's just how it works. And, and not of the PewDiePie variety? 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 I'm not particularly a fan of PewDiePie. I don't dislike him. I'm just not a fan, you know? I'm indifferent towards PewDiePie. I camera.
Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what kind of gun I want to use right now. I want to not get hit, that's what I want. Ah, uh, there we go. Really hate this. Really hate this place. Really hate those little bouncy fish enemies. Made me want to punch a toddler right in the nose. Just crash its little infant nasal cavity. Collapse it. That's a really cool bridge. I'm sorry. It, it's just a really, really cool bridge. You know, the suck cannon has been working all right for me. So, oh. It's a cool bridge, but it's not very designed well in real life. Okay, now let's get rid of all these. Continue just using the suck cannon as... Just get rid of the little dudes. <laughs> yeah! We're here. Now where's that fighter? Hey. Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I can't open it either. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem. I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, I can see that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Go talk to Bob at his robo shack. He knows about these locks. Oh, thank you. So, Bob's Robo Shack, similar you can find to Al's well, Robo Shack. Well, what have we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to see Al, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. I taught that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little fella up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. Alrighty, so 2,000 volts, just not that I much. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a hoppin. <laughs> well, there you are, little buddy. Better than new. That's right, I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. Your thruster pack includes Alrighty, the so we have the thruster feature. pack. Just um, similar to the heli pack, it's just cooler looking. I think the high jump and the long jump might be a little bit longer and farther, I could be wrong. They don't feel extremely different, but yeah. Also, it has um, the slam, like they just said. Um, for some reason, this was actually removed in future installments. This is the only version that has the slam. Also, if you up double tap the crouch button or whatever. Oh yeah, it's the R1 button. If you double tap the R1 button, you basically get um, something similar to a strafe. You can face forward and do that. It kind of sucks, especially compared to the way that strafing actually works in the future games. But it's what we have. So, to get this lock, we just... Power slam! And now we get to do a fighter jet section. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Might as well do it before I end the part. I don't particularly love these. Alright, machine gun. Oh gosh. Staff axe! Uh, I think if you... You have to destroy every single one, then you get to destroy the front. Ah, uh, I hate these. I don't really like these very much. They're not bad, though. Oh, gosh. Alrighty. And if it locks on like that, you get the circle button. And that does thing. The thing that is the, um... Oh, gosh. Just the controls for these aren't... They're just not that solid. It's another thing that, uh... And there's fighting. It's another one of the uh, things that's just in s just it gets better, you know, <laughs> the future games. That's basically what Ratchet and Clank is. It's just laying down the groundwork for the amazingness that is the future games. And once you trudge through the first game, the other games are just oh man, they're amongst some of my favorite games of all time. So no joke. Uh, 
where is the other ships that you destroy? Are you bumping me? You wanna... Thank you. You gotta get, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the high school musicals. I particularly don't like this part. That doesn't mean it's difficult. This part's easy. The controls are bad. Which is a legitimate reason to not like something. Terrible controls can definitely ruin an experience of any sorts. Not to mention, these guys drop so much health, it's ridiculous. And the rockets take so long to lock on. It's like... You're not gaining anything. It's easier just to hold the square button down, you know? Where are ya? There you are. There we go. That wasn't that hard at all. Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. It's about time. The O2 Max allows you to breathe underwater, in poisonous atmospheres, or even in outer space. It will auto-equip when you need it. Uh, you heard it. We can now breathe in outer space and in toxic materials. I wonder what place is toxic. Mm. Whatever, but um, I'm gonna end up the part here. In the next part, we will go and explore the scenic Jawai Resort sewers. The scenic sewers. Oh boy. Um, yeah. So this has been it's a review. Everybody, please drop a comment, like, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more. Like I said, I repeat myself a lot. Uh, that's all I have to say. It's super cute. Exciting out. I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.